Hello, my name is Alfred Vidari Jr. I am the FY22 NCAR president. I grew up in a military family. We moved and lived in many different places and then moved finally to Texas to attend college at the University of Texas in Arlington and Fort Worth has kind of always been home. I decided to become an architect very early on and so that kind of became my focus, my study. Uh, went to school, got my degrees in that area and never deviated. I have I had the great pleasure of being an owner, a vice president in this firm that I'm a part of today called Freeze and Nichols. And this firm started out in uh, 1894. We were designing lakes and reservoirs and dams. Today, we do kind of everything and anything. I came to Freeze and Nichols and opened a healthcare division here and grew that and then expanded into other areas and to planning and urban planning and campus planning and to higher education. So it kind of grew a business. There are a variety of projects at the uh, University of Texas in Arlington campus over the years that we've been called to do. The renovation and remodel projects, a nanofab microelectronic research center. We got an opportunity to do an engineering lab building. Really the challenge there is they had an existing two-story lab building and they asked us to do a third floor for research on top of it and the caveat was you cannot turn off anything in this building at any time during construction. It's really been great to be able to go back to your alma mater, do work and projects there and change the environment and then see the students enjoy that. When we talk about sustainability and kind of my interest and passion in that particular area, it's been interesting to watch over my 40 plus year career how it went from being this novel conversation that very few were really embracing maybe to where now it's almost more of some of the basic requirements of what we do in a successful project today. Across all my years of working, it has allowed me to actually wear a lot of different hats. And I moved for a handful of years into the corporate side where I became the head of marketing and communications. And then I was asked to now do the position I do today, which is really business development. It was important for me to become licensed personally. I always aspire to be able to have those credentials, to be able to have that responsibility to take over a project, to seal the project, to be in responsible control of it. To me, that was just kind of the highest level of standard as an architect. But my interest outside of architecture is always gravitated towards the art side. You know, I'm really kind of a builder, whether it be on the art side, the furniture side, or, or other crafts, whether it's woodwork or welding, and so my home does have a lot of the pieces that, that I have actually designed and built over the years. So I had the opportunity to join the Texas Board of Architectural Examiners a number of years ago. I've always been a believer in service, and I've always volunteered, and I'm always one of those individuals that if I volunteer for something, I'm jumping in with two feet. My early days and first experience with NCARB was with my first volunteer assignment of the ARE and structures, and it totally opened my eyes on the rigor and what it takes and the volunteer hours to create a test question. And at the end of the day, it was just some of the most rewarding experiences I've ever had. And the people are amazing. That network of people that truly are volunteers in their heart. And so that's kind of what has kept me coming back and continuing to be a part of it is just the good work that's being done and the value added. I'm extremely excited and, and honored to be the first Hispanic Latino uh, architect to hold this position as president of NCARB. Anytime anyone tells me or I hear that people say they were the first, uh, that's pretty meaningful. But with that honor comes, I think, uh, a great deal of responsibility. It's important for me to be an example, important to be a role model, to serve as a mentor and a coach. So as I think about this opportunity to be the FY22 president, um, I'm recalled of one of my favorite quotes by Daniel Burnham, make no small plans because small plans do not have the ability to change men's hearts. And what that simply means is think big, think bold, Act big, act bold, be ready to take action. And, and I hope and look that this year with the volunteers and with the help of each and every one of you and the volunteering spirit, that we'll take bold steps, we'll take bold actions, we'll move forward with many of the programs, the issues, the services, and the ideas that will come before us. And while I know we never always exactly get along with every idea of thinking the same, I think that's okay. And I would just encourage you to be a part of the conversation your time is valuable, your spirit, and I want to thank each of you for everything that you do, and I'm excited and look forward to the year before us.